Before this video begins, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Basically, I'm going through that stage that pretty much every YouTuber goes through where they struggle to find what they really want out of YouTube. And I'm thinking about making like a Skywars, Bedwars commentary video about this topic, but I'm really not sure what I want to do yet. I made a community post on this topic and I just wanted to say thank you so much. The support on that post was unbelievable. I genuinely couldn't believe it. It was insane. Hey, what's up everyone? I have finally decided to upload a video. I know, it's crazy. It's about time we play some Skyblock from scratch, and there's no better time to do it than, wait, where, where can I see the mayor? Uh, here we go, here's the mayor. Mayor Derpy, look at that insanity. Most importantly for me is that he gives me 50% more skills experience. So I think you know what we're gonna be doing today. But first, I, I have problems, please help. No, why? Why are there always server reboots as soon as I start doing something productive? This is why I can't get anything done. Oh, maybe there's something at the traveling zoo. No. Last, uh, not, not inventory full, but last handful. And we have just earned another uh, 29.6 million <laughs> coins. What is this? But wait, that's not all. Remember those budget hoppers that I threw in my minions? Uh, yeah, I didn't realize exactly how much magma cream I was wasting. Uh, did you, oh my god. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at my chat log. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh yeah, and, and we got like 34.6 million coins. But look how awesome the chat log looks. Look at it. You know, I gotta say, I think those budget hoppers were a pretty good investment. What, that cost me like 100,000 coins? And in the long run, it gave me an additional 5 million. Now, this is a really good problem to have. I can't fit any more coins in my bank. Back to what I was saying about a certain mayor, uh, he gives me 50% more skills experience. Just on, on everything. So I've decided that I think it'll actually be a good idea to level up both alchemy and enchanting. And everyone else has had the exact same idea. Look at the price of lapis. It Well, actually, it, it's like... It didn't go up by that much. My point is, it went up pretty significantly. Sugarcane, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have fluctuated by too much because people don't really want alchemy anymore. Which is good news for me because I'm going to start off with 160 enchanted sugarcane, which is only 8 million coins. I mean, that's a lot, but I have uh, 24 million coins extra. But I'll just start out with 160 enchanted sugarcane and just see how it goes from there. Once again, I'm setting up that system with the hoppers in the back of the brewing stands just so that I don't have to worry about putting water bottles in the brewing stand every time I collect the potions. Now that I need to fill up, I think it was 480 water bottles. I'm realizing just how many potions I'm going to have. So my buy order wasn't filling up, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to buy 160 sugarcane instantly. It'll cost me um, 400,000 coins more, but that's not that bad, actually. I'm also going to be putting in a buy order for 6,912 enchanted lapis, which should cost around 6 million coins, and this will get me uh, 18 stacks of grand experience bottles. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a god potion just so I can get... Uh, I need an experience boost for the grand experience bottles, and of course the skills XP boosts. I also want to get an epic guardian pet in order to increase my enchanting XP even further, but uh, someone disabled the auction house, which means I have to do the old fashioned thing and go around and ask people if they have a guardian pet they want to sell. All right, so Festive Sun here has a level 57 rare guardian pet, which I will be spending 350k on, which I, I have no idea how much guardian pets are worth, so I, I'm, I'm cool with that deal. And I'm also going to be throwing 10 Great Carrot Candy on the pet, which uh, I don't actually, ex excuse me. So yeah, that's enough carrots for uh, 10 Great Carrot Candy. Also, my Lapis Order filled, which is nice. Now, I don't actually have the recipe for Great Carrot Candy, so I'm going to have to get someone to craft it for me. So I got my guild member Pickaxe Panther to craft me the Carrot Candies, so that is very helpful because that saves me... I, I, not that long at farming. All right, so now we can add this to our inventory, select that, and then we give him all of this candy, and he'll get a couple more levels. 
Uh, he got, uh, I think that was 13 more levels, which is pretty good. And the final thing that I'm going to do to upgrade the amount of enchanting XP that I get is give Cat this guardian pet. It'll uh, only cost me 400,000 coins and it'll take two days, which obviously I'm not going to wait. So I'll just go buy a couple cat flowers. Wait, what? That's only two cat flowers? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's not nearly as much of a waste of bits as I thought it was. Hello, Mr. Builder. I would like to put in a buy order for 18 stacks of glass bottles. Oh god, not another one of these kids. And now the crafting process begins. Fortunately, I do actually have this recipe. I don't think anyone would be too eager to craft this for me. That is a lot of grand XP bottles. I am not really looking forward to this, but oh well. Now we need to set up a big enchanting area so I can get a... 40 level enchant because that's the fastest way to get alchemy or sorry enchanting xp and i haven't been to the library in so long i forget where they put it where's where's the library is it is it down here yes yes it is never mind i do remember this map and we're just gonna throw our enchanting table right there and just just throw bookshelves around it until we eventually get our level 40 enchant there we go level 40 enchant and i'm gonna need 18 stacks of books so I'm just going to place a bunch of bookshelves and then just destroy these, I guess. Uh, and that, that'll give me some books. So now I'm going to start enchanting. And in order to really fine tune the system, I need to see what level I get to when I enchant something and throw a grand experience bottle. And it looks like I'm actually getting to level 44 pretty consistently. So I'm going to add another bookshelf and then see how this goes. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta do that. And then, yeah, I think I'm still getting to level 44 every single time, which means that I can do level 44 enchants for the maximum efficiency on enchanting XP. So I have um, a, a few grand experience bottles to go through. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I know this is gonna get really boring, so I'm actually going to have uh, my phone playing a YouTube video uh, with one earbud in one of my ears. And in the other ear, I'm going to have the earbud for uh, game audio. That way I can watch YouTube and it won't impact the sound so you don't hear some random YouTube video playing in the background. Now this is actually a really great system for enchanting. I actually had to remove one uh, bookshelf because... I was not getting level 44 every time. I was getting like level 43.9, so it would not balance out every once in a while. So basically, you throw a bottle, you shift click a book into the enchant table, click on the highest level enchant, it does not matter what it is. For me, I get almost 2,500 enchanting XP, which is just bonkers, that is ridiculous. And if you have a full inventory, the best part is that the book just goes right into your stash. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to mindlessly clicking on grand experience bottles in an enchanting table with books. Enchanting level 21, enchanting 22, social six, wait, what? Followed immediately by enchanting 23. All right, we just hit the halfway point. I've used, I think it was nine. Yep, I've used, wait, did I? I think I used 10 stacks of grand experience bottles. Anyways, that's awesome. I'm just over halfway done. Um, you may be wondering, am I sick of sitting there enchanting books? And I'm not going to lie to you, I've only been doing this for like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, so it's really not that bad. Anyways, I have eight more stacks of grand experience bottles to smash open and receive experience, so I that that is what I will continue to do. Enchanting 24, enchanting 25... All right, so I have actually gone through all 18 stacks of Grand Experience Bottles. Uh, however, if I do just about another stack of Grand Experience Bottles, I will get to Enchanting Level 26. So obviously I'm going to do that because it's not a ton more work. Yes, we're so close. I think I just need like four or five more. I don't know how many more I need. Uh, this should be, I, I think I need uh, two or three more books. Um, yes, last one. Enchanting 26. Ah, uh, I don't know why I'm so happy. That only took like an hour. That's kind of a pitiful grind for Skyblock. So look at my stash. I have 720 random enchant books in my stash. So, this is why I love the stash so much. If we just type clear stash, and then we clear the stash, 
There, there's no more books. So for the low price of 8 million coins, we increased our enchanting skill by 6, and therefore our base intelligence by 12. All right, well, guess it's time to do alchemy. So one thing I did actually forget is the enchanted glowstone. And if you remember, the enchanted glowstone actually increases the sell price to the NPC of the uh, speed 7 potions that you get by a significant amount, which is definitely worth it. Ah uh, yes, and before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my sheep pet so I can put some levels on that. Also, here's that glowstone test for you. So here's a speed 5 potion, which is just an awkward potion, then with a enchanted sugar cane. And you can see that sells for 167 coins, so practically nothing. Now we just add enchanted glowstone to that. And you can see that turns it into a speed 7 potion, which when we sell that to the shop, we get almost 6,000 coins, which is a pretty significant improvement. Oh yeah, and, and we also get uh, 32,400 alchemy XP, which, which is the main reason we're doing that. Alchemy level 30, alchemy level 31. Real quick, I'm curious how much this mayor helps. Right now we're getting 32,400 alchemy XP per potion. Now, if we look at my previous Skyblock from Scratch episode where we did alchemy, you can see that I'm getting 25,920 alchemy XP per potion. So I'm not completely sure why it's not a ridiculous amount more because 50% XP is really, really considerable. Um, I don't know, maybe it's uh, non-stackable. So if you already have a, like a 20% XP boost as the potion, maybe it doesn't apply the 50%. I don't know, it's kind of complicated. Basically, you have your base XP that you get with no boosts. And I think this just adds to that, not if you have other boosts equipped. I don't know, I'm not very good at explaining it. Alchemy level 32, alchemy 33, alchemy 34, taming 22, alchemy level 35, alchemy level 36, alchemy level 37, alchemy level 38. All right, so I actually decided to purchase uh, three more enchanted sugar cane for a very, very similar reason to why I did an extra stack of enchanting. And basically we are super close to alchemy level 39. So, um. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get that. All right, here we go. And there we go. Alchemy level 39. At some point, I got my sheep to level 100. I don't remember when that was. Uh, but the good news is it's, it's alchemy XP. It's super easy to get, so I don't feel very bad about wasting it. So we started at, I believe, alchemy level 29. And we are now alchemy level 30, uh, which means that we got... A pretty good intelligence boost of 20. More importantly though, in total we got 212,500 coins in rewards. New money making method? Hey, Jerry, I, I, I did it. I made 200,000 coins. And how much did you spend? Eh, shut up, Jerry. Huh. I wonder where he went. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Jerry? J Jerry? No. Jerry, please. I, I actually can't find him. I have no idea where he is. Uh-oh. Jerry, I if, if you're truly gone, I just want you to know that you deserved it. You've done nothing for me. What have you done for me? I built you a house on my main profile and you still can't do anything. I think that's where I'm going to end the episode for today. Yes, I'm very much aware of the new enchanting update they just released. It's actually 100% coincidental that uh, they released that right after I did some enchanting skill. But in the long run, that's actually going to be super helpful for me because now I get to make a video on that. Now, as I was sitting down to record this, uh, my dog Chewy came into the room uh, and he's, he's just lying at my feet now. Here, Chewy, you, uh, you, got, you got anything to say? Here, I'll, I'll hold you up to the microphone. Come here. Come here. Ah. Chewy, you got, you got anything to say? Come on, the mi mi microphone's right here. Chewy. Come on. I don't know. He doesn't talk much. Chewy, do you want a treat? Oh, oh boy. I bet you want a treat. You're a good dog. I get distracted easily. Thank you guys a ton for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I, I missed.